dangerous Amnesia Don't even say asthma What are you all doing? Hey there, Riverview. Today is Thursday, May 31st. And we are on a day five schedule. Students who intend to take AP Literature and Composition 12 next year should pick up a permission slip from outside Mrs. Rokini's classroom, room 221, as soon as possible, and return it to her on or prior to bump up day. Students who fail to hand in the permission slip will not be permitted to pick up their summer assignments until they have done so. Students who have elected to take AP Chemistry next year should attend an informational meeting either Wednesday or Thursday after school in room 204. If you are not able to attend either day, please see Mrs. Carson separately. Students, your lucky day has arrived. We are happy to inform you that we have received a few extra yearbooks from our publisher. Therefore, if you had not ordered an RHS yearbook and you would like one, please sign up in room 214 with Mrs. Hustleton as soon as possible. Yearbooks are $65, will be issued on a first come, first serve basis. Don't miss out on getting your yearbook with the rest of your classmates on Friday. Please take time today to return any library books currently in your possession. There is no better time than the present, so stop on by and return your books today. If you're looking for summer work, you should check out the Learn and Earn program. Learn and Earn is a summer employment program for teens and young adults between the ages of 14 and 21 in the Pittsburgh region. Participants have the opportunity to earn money, gain valuable work experience, and develop soft skills to become, become college and career ready. Young people who are selected will work from June 25th through August 3rd. There are several opportunities available, and if you're interested in finding out more information, you should go stop by the guidance office. And now it's time to answer all your questions and concerns about summer on a new episode of The Q. Aloha, everyone! You heard the man, aloha! Yeah, welcome to The Q, where you ask us stuff, we answer you. Guys, this close. You know what? No email. No cafeteria, because this, fortunately and unfortunately, is the last episode of the queue for the year. But, you know, we might come back, we might not, you never know. Oh, hold on, it's awfully hot out, dude. Hey, okay. And we are back in action. Again. Mm -mm -mm, no, we're not going to burn, but that doesn't mean this episode's not going to be f -f -f fire, because we got a clipboard today, boys. That was c, -c cringy that's what that was. Let's start up the questions, I guess. Frozen treat comes in, and what is your favorite one, Michael? Yeah. And you got those little pops that you cut the top, top off. The ice. Those things. Those yep, flames. has to be those. It's because e even after the ice mm -hmm. is gone, you can still drink the juice at the bottom, the flavor at the bottom. So it's like a win-win. It's a drink and a snack at the same time. I have <laughs> pretty say, good. Nothing beats a soft serve. Or, you know what I mean? Just go. You give yourself an ice cream cup. Yeah, that's true. Quick. It is good. Game over. I like twist. You know. I really like soft twists. serve. I think I just gotta stick with my boy vanilla. Ooh, that's gross. Vanilla ice. See, it's too sweet on its own. That's the problem that I have. Yeah. That's why I want the twist. That way, it's like I have the harshness of chocolate and the sweetness of vanilla. You know what I mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. This place to vacation. Now, I assume it's a personal preference. So anywhere you'd go on vacation this summer, where would it be? Iceland, I think. It's just uh, I've always seen cool stuff online uh, about Iceland, and I've always 
wanting to travel there. It's just, I, I just yeah. haven't ever had the chance, I guess. And I'm more like a chill guy, you know, I don't really like to go anything extravagant. I could probably go to the mountains of Colorado. I heard it's beautiful up there. It is. Uh, yeah. Are you a skier? Not really a skier, you know, I just, I love the natural beauty of things. You go up there, sit, you just look out at everything and just get to meditate and find yourself, you know what I mean? I don't give a crap about whales, so go and hug a tree. I love it. This is a thing, you know, we're used to school, waking up on a schedule, going to sleep on a schedule, but in the summer, you don't have any of that unless you have a job, but, you know, who cares? What time do you sleep into? Like, or what time do you wake up? Okay, uh, well, I, I mean, I usually stay up till about, like, three on average. That sounds about right. I usually s sleep in until, like, 12, around there. Um, the latest I've ever, uh, slept to was seven at night. Wait, what? How late were you up? I was playing a game with a friend. I was playing seven days, seven days to die. Oh Played up till 7 a.m. There's a lot of sevens in the story. 7 a.m. The board came, wiped us out. We weren't ready for it. My friend went home. I went to bed and I woke up for dinner. All right, now you're out at the pool. You know, you're on your vacation. You need something to get away from the sun. If you had a choice between that game, what would your favorite pool game be? I have a long history of playing Sharks and Minnows. I don't know if for all of you not familiar. Yeah, that game's average. If you have a good, honest shark, it'd be a really fun game. Uh, uh, Marco Polo, all they're them. like squinting, they're like, uh. That is the greatest game in the pool it's ever. It's definitely like. I would pick that as mine. It's go to, it's very fun. Marco Polo! Marco Polo! Marco Polo! See? <laughs> Marco Polo! School is There's always a cheater, though. There is. Like, they don't say full of It's so irritating. What's your move off the diving board? The twister. That's a classic. When I was like, man, like 12 or 10. Hang on, hang on. Did you say 12 or 10? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't, I'm sorry. 10 or 12. Thank Excuse you. me. Thank you. It was. Hold on. I want to get hurt, guys. You hop off and just spin around like all you can, right? Except, it, I, I don't know why it was so entertaining, though, as kids. I don't get it. Would you believe I never jumped off a diving board? Yeah. I just never have. Yeah. I mean, if I did, I, I mean, it. like, I've jumped into a pole, like, off a deck, but I've never off a diving board, so I've never had a, you know, that bounce. Just straight. But I would always, you know, cannonball. I'm not very agile. I'm not going to go like, what? Well, yeah, that makes sense. In a ball, down. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> that is the last question of the queue for this year. And, End of the uh, year. I hope you had a fun school year. Grades are good. Congratulations to the seniors graduating. You, you'll be gone by the time this airs. But most importantly, you know, you come together as people. Come together as students and friends. Have a good summer. Have a safe summer. And we'll see you next year. Hopefully you passed all your, oh, yeah. your classes. Otherwise, yikes. Nope. This is the Q team. Signing, signing off. off. This is Dave Skylark. Signing off. Hey everybody, Mr. O'Malley from RVTV telling you we hope you had a great year and more importantly, we hope that you have yourself a great summer. I mean, that's about it. I don't know what else you want. Go get a job. That looks expensive. <laughs>